they've done a lovely job. Starting at the front door, there is a small landing uh, with the choice to go upstairs or downstairs. We're going to start downstairs, which is where the bedrooms are. So you've got seven steps coming down. Um, it is hardwood floors, um, I believe. Your only uh, full bathroom is just to the right of the bottom of the stairs. You've got a jacuzzi tub uh, with an upgraded tile surround and two sinks. There is a nice linen space right here. And then coming down the hall to the right is the laundry area with cabinet storage above. This is the secondary bedroom, which has a window to the backyard area and a closet area as well. So you can see the view from this window. Uh, it does have fake grass. There are no windows down against this wall right here. Um, this is where the carport level is. Um, so it is a little bit dark in the hallway in the afternoon. Here's the master bedroom. It's a good sized bedroom, a little bit smaller than the previous house. Uh, there is a nice size walk-in closet as well. And then you also have a little seating area and um, cut out for like a dresser or a desk. And then you do have a slider out to the backyard area from here. We are going to head upstairs to the main living area. dining room area which is right next to the kitchen. The kitchen has been upgraded and has a nice tile backsplash, stainless steel appliances. And a electric cooktop. Actually it's a induction cooktop. There's also a view of the side yard up here which is really nice. Um, the owners have done the deck in like a Trex decking, which is really low maintenance um, and doesn't have nearly as much upkeep as like a solid wood. And there's a sunshade above. Out here, there's another nice patio. It does have a covered awning um, or shade as well. Nice living room area with a gas fireplace. And back here, it's an extra storage area. It kind of looks like a kid's play area right now, uh, which overlooks the patio. On the other side of the sink, they have um, a butcher's block counter with a couple stools and then in the, there's another cutout right here which would also be a good place for a desk or a computer charging station something like that um, and a nice big window that does overlook the backyard so again here's just kind of a nice overview living room area. Then you do have a coat closet right here and a half bath at the top of the stairs as well. And we'll end at the front door. This one is 171 Villa Avenue. Um, it's a short walk into downtown. It's listed at 998,000. 
1,523 square feet, two beds, one and a half baths, and was built in 1979.